Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Yes, I said from experience and with the benefit of hindsight, what makes a good journalist? Good. To describe you as a good journalist, is that journalist whose report over the years has passed through the crucibles of credibility. You put out news that is credible, news that is verifiable, news that is authentic news that is truth mm. over the years you know Interesting. it's not just cut and join stories <laughs> journalism okay it be a cut and join kind of journalist journalist all right and i must now, tell you that i must yes. tell you that today there are people that no matter what you do no matter the stories you tell them if they've not read it from a particular newspaper they will not believe it That's because true. that that that, new, that newspaper has earned their trust over the years because of one or two journalists that are there they will tell you okay azuari they has not written it before they will believe it they will go to azuari twitter handle is not there they will go to azuari instagram handle is not there they will go to his Facebook page. It is not there. They will check his uh, uh, WhatsApp. It's not there. They will say, no, this one is not truth. Mm -hmm. So long as Azo has not carried this, it does not represent the truth. That's, that's, that's the way they see it. Because mm -hmm. over the years, you have, they have, you have earned their confidence. You have not deceived them by the quali your quality of reportage. You've not deceived them based on the credibility of your reportage. You know, so over the years, you have built that trust and confidence. And that is it. Interesting. Interesting. Now, why do we seem to have too many journalists who are not doing well, who are wallowing in poverty? You know, you see most journalists, they don't look okay and, uh, and stuff. Why do you think it is rampant? In the, in the journalism profession, it's not just rampant in the journalism profession. There are there are lawyers you see, <laughs> you when they wear the I swear to God kind of shoes, you know, you will be wondering, these ones are they also lawyers? You know, you know, it, uh, it's across different uh, uh, professional callings. It's not peculiar to any. You know, there are people that have also not crossed the, the poverty line in other professions. Same okay. way you have them in the journalism profession. It's just there. You know. Yes. Okay. All right. For a journalist, what are the legitimate avenues through which he or she can make money? Other legitimate yeah, no, you are through which a journalist can yes can make money, you know. You are not talking about the business. Aspect. Yes, business aspect of it. Yes. <laughs> well, I know you are a, you are a proprietor. You are a journalist. You are a proprietor, yes. and uh, yes, you understand this uh, so clearly. You know, once a journalist is able to develop himself, okay. Yeah. You don't need to all the time completely rely on your employer. You can also explore so many, you know, training programs aimed at developing you. Last year at the peak of COVID-19, I organized a training workshop for journalists. And I brought uh, Tai Wobe, you know him. Yeah, I know Tai Wobe. Of of journalism clinic clinic I know. and he took time to take journalists beyond writing how you can also make money 
as a journalist, with your Android phone or your smartphone, you can make a lot of money too. You can develop articles that will be best-selling articles. You know, if you go to some other clients, there are so many journalists that are not on paid employment of any company. But they go, they go beyond what the ordinary eyes could see. Investigative journalism. You can take it, take it upon yourself to investigate issues, matters. You know, by the time you have your authentic report, you can sell it for crying out loud. A media house can pay you anything to, to get, a, 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 you know, across to the search. You know, so you can, you can, even today, uh, you have uh, social media apps, you have the Instagram, you have, uh, you have it, uh, uh, Twitter. So many people are developing so many businesses online. Nothing has, 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 has stopped you as a journalist. In fact, if there are people that should excel as social media influencers, they should be journalists. Because they like can do it better. I like Today, that. We have people that their only ID card is, my name is Okay Coca for I'm a social media influencer. <laughs> that person knows nothing about media. That's true. But he's eking out a living using the social media. A journalist that is trained can do better. Mm. You know, that's the truth. Companies will be working on themselves to have your signature. Interesting. If, Interesting. An untrained, if an untrained individual is making millions off the social media, then a trained individual can make billions from that place. I like that. I like that. Now, what, what would be your take on those who constantly accuse journalists of taking brown envelopes? Well, you know, I have not, uh, I've not been accused in my more than two decades of practice you know there's something i must tell you much as i'm not going to sit down here and uh, encourage anybody who collects brand envelope quote, quote and unquote if you go to the chamber of a lawyer before you even see him you will meet a girl or a young man who is the receptionist you pay what is called consultation fee. That's the truth. This yeah, fee the is truth. to ena enable you go in and have conversation. First. If you go to a hospital, you will obtain the card. That's true. That card is not, you are not paying for anything. You've not even said why you are there. That enables you to have access to the med medical personnel in that hospital. Journalists are human beings who also exist in the same climate with every other person. They go to the same markets. There is no market the journalist goes to and, and we will be told, okay, since you are a journalist, uh, we tell this thing uh, ordinarily five naira to non journal Since you are a journalist, take it at one naira. There is no such market anywhere in the world. So there are still human beings that exist in the same climate with everybody. And one thing you must know is that publicity is not cheap. No matter how you look at it. You are not going to, because somebody is a journalist and you want to enjoy publicity, say, okay, you're a, after all, you're a journalist, you shouldn't. It doesn't happen. Human interest stories you know, and all that can all, always fly. A journalist does not need anything. But for publicity, if you go to the electronic media houses, there is what they, what they call LTP. Well, do you know what it is? Let them pay. 